doesn't look like much has been really done here, but certainly an improvement in the amount of junk that's sitting around. And it'll be improvement still because I've got this very much rearranged in such a way that the projects I want to work on are more easily accessible. We're going to look at this in this video. This is a, a former capture PC that I'm going to be installing that sound card in right there with this uh, little breakout doohickey. I'm using as an audio processor PC for the new low-end radio studio that I am in the process of building. Let's get it down here and take a look at it. Alright, here it is with the cover off. I think this was the first uh, failed stream encoder build. So this is a Asus Q370. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see anywhere. I don't know if it even says anywhere on it. I think it probably does. It's probably underneath that uh, NVMe SSD right there. But yeah, it's got an i7 9700K, 16 gigs of RAM. That I believe is a 250 gig, maybe a 120, um, 128, A data, SSD, and it used to be a capture PC, so it's got this uh, little thing in it here, little hoppage card, hoppage, whatever. People say it's pronounced hop hog, but I think that sounds stupid, so. We'll pronounce it, you know, like the way the English language works. Anyway, that's coming out because it's not going to be in here anymore. I'm using the PCI slot in the bottom, which means that I gotta pull that, pull that screw out, and then I could put the card in it. Okay, there it is. The Audio Science ASI5111, which, funny enough, has got a TMS320 chip on it from Texas Instruments for DSP. The irony, we just replaced a bunch of equipment with that chip in it for our DSP course at work. <laughs> kind of funny how that works. So I'm hoping that this is just going to be plug and play, that there is a Windows 10 driver, number one, and number two, that it's compatible with 64-bit. Both of those are potentially long shots, but I'll give it a try anyway. And if that's not the case, then this computer will have to do something else. And I'll have to put together something that uh, will support this card. Because I do want to use this card for that reason. It's a very nice card. Okay, there it is. Got it connected to that thing. Because this is a CSM board, it's one of the nice ones. It's got PS2 on it still. Still got VGA. Still got legacy I.O. It might even have a serial port, although I think you need to use a breakout for that. Power it up. Make sure it still works. It's been sitting out here for months now. Here's the power switch. There we go. We'll see what it does. Beep. Good sign. Oh, the monitor's off. Generally helps if your monitor's turned on when you're trying to do something. So there we go. Asus logo, spinning disk. And I need this. And I'll have to log in. Okay. So, let's see what happens once we log in. What kind of messages I get? I would love to do so. Now, audio-wise, what do we got? HD audio? Yeah, it does not look like out of the box it's found anything. Device manager? Yeah, multimedia audio controller. Search automatically on Windows Update, sure. We'll see what happens. I don't think it's going to find anything. So we might have to do a search. Do a hunt for this. I suppose an ASIO driver would probably work, but I'm not sure about you, but I hate ASIO. It tends not to really work properly. Very annoying. 
sometimes the way that it doesn't really work. I hope that it's tr not trying to contact my uh, WSUS server because it was hooked up to that before. It's not going to find it on this network, so. Yeah, check online. We'll see if it finds anything with the online check. Uh, it doesn't look like it, so that's not very promising. Well, downloaded this. I have no mouse again. I don't know why the mouse keeps breaking like that. And it looks like for this card, it is actually supported under Windows 10, so that's a good sign. Now, whether or not this will work, I suppose remains to be seen. This is the official audio science driver which, I don't know about you, is something I'd prefer to run anyway. Install standard PCI driver. I don't need the network driver. I don't need the legacy driver either. Install from Audio Science. Cool stuff. It's installing Visual C redistributable. That decided to fall. Let's see. Sorry it's out of focus, there's probably not much I can do. I'm going to reboot in a minute. And the reason why I'm going to reboot in a minute... I'm going to close this, I don't need it. Well, that exploded. Neat. Okay. Well, I was installing updates. I guess that decided it didn't want to work anymore. So I'm going to let this install updates. And then I'm going to reboot it, and hopefully we'll actually have audio as things defy gravity in here. I'm going to take a peek out the window while I was working on that, and, uh, I don't know. Looks kind of thunderstormy, but I don't see anything on the lightning map, so I don't know what that is. That probably just means we're going to get a torrential downpour while I'm standing out here in the garage and I'll be trapped, and that'll be fun, but... Whatever. We'll make good video, I suppose. Might make the video go viral. Probably not. That kind of stuff happens all the time. I'd have to get struck by lightning for that to happen. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look kind of angry? Hmm. Oh, there's a risk of severe storms today, so... Maybe. Probably get something later. You know, for having an NVMe SSD, this thing sure does take its jolly sweet time to do just about anything. Look at how little work it's actually doing. Well, that's why I don't like Windows 10. Lags for absolutely no reason. This should have been done by now. Alright. Yeah. Definitely some uh, rain somewhere. It's starting to rain here. It's sprinkling a little bit, but not too bad. Would have liked to get this project done before it started raining, but I guess that's not going to happen. Okay, let's take a look here. Sound settings. There we go. Oh, it's out of focus. ASI 5111-01 WDM out. That should be the primary. Input device is WDM in, which is fine. Okay. So, are we good with that? That's the way it should be. Just want to make sure that everything is as it should. Yep, there it is, Audio Science ASI 5100 Wave Device. So, should be good to go. I can't really test it because unfortunately the breakout cable is an XLR cable, and I don't have much that's got XLR, so I think the last thing I'll do is I'll install a stereo tool on this because that's what I've, I'm going to use to run the audio processing. Installed its own control panel. And, uh, well, we'll take care of it from there.